Dr. Rick Nabb is the director of the National Hurricane Center, and he joins us live with some perspective on this dangerous storm. Hi, good morning, Alex. Uh, it, it's not real pretty on the satellite imagery, but the aircraft show the winds are still maximum at 60 miles an hour. I don't think it's going to look a whole lot more impressive on satellite over the next day or so as it moves slowly to the north. But the problem is it is it is coming to the northern Gulf Coast at some point uh, this weekend, and it does pose a number of hazards. And uh, I'm mostly concerned about the water related ones, although if it does strengthen a little bit like we're forecasting, wind will be an issue. So storm surge, inland flooding, you got to not tune out this weekend with Karen. Right, but you mentioned rain and some of these areas that have, are areas that have seen significant amounts of rainfall over the past few weeks and months. Right, and several inches of rain, maybe as much as eight inches of rain in some spots, depending on the exact track, coastal and inland. Uh, the, the inland flood threat can be very, very dangerous, and I don't want people to uh, tune out, uh, especially if they're driving. Got to be careful. Great. Now, what areas are, are areas that you think people should be especially paying attention? Where are the areas to be most concerned? Southeast Louisiana over to the Florida Panhandle and in between and a little bit inland, that's going to be the area that's going to experience the, the, uh, the effects over the next two to three days. 